Hello, everybody, and welcome to the XL Center. Welcome back to the Hartford Whalers expansion franchise on NHL 24. In the last episode, we simmed through the month of December. We started off well, winning seven out of three, or I'm sorry, seven out of ten. We went seven and three as Los Angeles wins the opening faceoff there, picked up by Zadina. Now Kane takes it in, a quick chance, picked off by Drew Doughty. We won the first seven out of ten and then dropped five in a row. So Hartford enters this game on a five-game losing streak. As Kevin Fiala shot, and that was blocked in traffic, Daniil Tarasov getting the start here in this one, his fifth action of the season. Mark Shifley with it. In front for Patty Kane, and a quick shot there in front. Body saved there by Daniel Riddich, playing in place of Jeremy Swayman, who was traded to the Kings' last trade deadline. Adrian Kempe out there against Mark Shifley on the draw. An advantage there to the Kings. And Hartford in desperate need to snap this losing streak. Mikey Anderson takes it in for Los Angeles. In front there, Drew Doughty to Fiala. He's going to score a quick one. Good puck movement there in the zone by the Kings. And Kevin Fiala, one of the best players on this Kings team. And that's a quick one to put them ahead. His 12th of the season, just two minutes and three seconds in. Mikey Anderson, a lot of space there. Gave it to Dowdy, and then a nice drop pass there to Fiala. And Daniil Tarasov's not catching up to that one. Tic-tac-toe there. Great feed from Dowdy for that primary assist. As Fiala now 32 points. Too short of Arthur Kaliev. Also on this top line along with Arthur Kempe. I'm sorry, Adrian Kempe. Now Fiala back with it looking for another one. And that cross crease pass broken up by Tyson Berry. He'll give up to Mark Shifley. Shifley working his way in. He'll have to reset. Back to Orlov, who enters his own. His centering pass picked off by Kaliev. Who gives over to Drew Doughty. Now Adrian Kempe to Fiala. Stolen there by Dmitry Orlov, who gives to Tom Wilson, taking it up, and he'll dump it into the zone. That'll be picked up by Mikey Anderson. He gives to Quinton Byfield. Backfield stolen there by Cody Cece. Now Tom Wilson with it. He loses the puck. Neutral zone. Lawton recovers. Gives back to Wilson. Working his way in. Loose puck on the, behind the net. Tom Wilson to Arvidsson. Playing against his former team. Cece loses it. Giving chase. Recovers. Now Scott Lawton in front. A pass there to Victor Arvidsson. Picked off there by uh, Spence. Just in the nick of time. Byfield. Overtaken there by Sebastian Ajo. Now Leo Carlson. He gives to Victor Arvidsson. Now JT Comfer with it. Working his way in loose puck. Goes against the boards. Picked up by Spence. Spence takes it up for the Kings. He gives to Pierre-Luc Dubois. His shot wide. Looked like he had Tarasov beat as well. Now Byfield works his way in front. Save Tarasov. Loose puck. And he just barely recovers. And you see there 19-13-5 here for Hartford. Not a bad record, but we could be doing a little bit better. Although you have to consider we've been without Jacob Markstrom now for about... Been without him for a few weeks now. Matt Grizzly, a shot blocked. There, he almost gets another chance there. Goes wider than that. Matt Grizzly signs a five-year deal here with the Los Angeles Kings after we traded him to Vegas this past trade deadline. Well, last trade deadline. We traded him to Vegas thinking he would be an upgrade to their defensive unit. He ended up not even playing a single game for them. Although I think he played a couple in the playoffs. Now Philip no chance in front. He scores. Just generates the turnover. Works his way in front. And an easy backhand finish against Daniil Tarasov. His fifth goal of the season. Just 8-18 into the game. The Kings take a 2-0 lead. And that was Sammy Maki who turned it over there in the corner. Dano just took it from him. Took the lunch money. And finished. And Tarasov not looking too hot here to start his night. So now we'll throw a fourth line out there, which usually does bring some energy, although we are without Marcus Felino in this one. Connor McMichael taking his place at left wing. Sammy Maki gives to Walker over to Jake Evans, who can't handle it. Lazat dumps it in for the Kings. Recovered there by Sean Walker. Gives to Jake Evans, now Nolan Patrick, to Connor McMichael back in the lineup after missing a few weeks as a healthy scratch. 
Sean Walker overtakes it, playing against his former squad. McMichael now enters for Hartford. Loses there to Brant Clark, up to Grunstrom. Grunstrom dumps it in. Picked up by Tyson Berry. Sammy Maki, he gives to Jake Evans. And that loose puck will get to Riddich, who will play it out for Brant Clark. And Anderson Dolan with it, gives over to Fajimo. He works his way in. He shoots, pad saved, it tears off. Grunstrom with it, a shot blocker save. Now behind the net, Mark Shifley up against the boards, kicks it in to the corner. Grunstrom now gives to Anderson Dolan. Fajimo in front, a shot blocked by Sammy Maki. Maki gives to Zadina, over to Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane in front for Shifley, a backhand, and it just skips over the net. That almost went in. Zadina with it behind the net, playing against Grizzlick, his former teammate here in Hartford. Grunstrom with it for the Kings. And he's hit hard there. I think that was Dmitry Orlov who just laid the wood. And hopefully that gives Hartford some life here. His pass in the neutral zone tipped away to Brant Clark. Now Kaliev with it. Turns up ice for the Kings and clears it into the zone. Dmitry Orlov retrieves behind the net. His pass up ice to Scott Lawton. He's hit and loses possession. Lawton back with it in the neutral zone. He'll enter for Hartford. Loose puck picked up by Fiala. He peels up ice and gives to Kaliev, working there against Tyson Berry, enters his own. Loose puck picked up by Dmitry Orlov. Now to Arvidsson, up to Drew Doughty on the redirected pass. Fiala enters for the Kings. In front for Pierre Luc Dubois, and he scores! An easy chance there in front, and he beats Daniel you know, Tarasov. And Tarasov just not looking good here. Already three goals led up in the first 15 minutes. Luke Dubois now in his second year with the Kings after signing with them last offseason. And 21 assists there. Is that Fiala? And he just beats Daniil Tarasov there. Blocker side. And Tarasov really has to get it together. I think we're going to be seeing Scott Wedgwood here in this one soon. So now we we'll see Leo Carlson out there on the draw playing now on the third line with JT Comfer. And Andrew Mangiapane as Cody Cece will take it in for Hartford. Peels back. Pass there to Leo Carlson in front for Mangiapane. His shot glove saved by Daniel Riddich. And the Kings also, well, I mean, I was going to say the Kings also with their backup goalie. But Tarasov's actually our third string. With Jacob Markstrom still set to be out another month and a half or so. Anderson, Mikey Anderson with it. Overtaken there by Confer, Anderson wins it back. He'll take it up ice, working there against Cody Cece, and he slams Anderson down. Sebastian Ajo with it, gives up to Cody Cece. Cece over to Carlson, and he kind of stalls there. It looked like he had some space, but just stalls out on the skating. Keorn picked off there by Confer, taking it the other way. JT Confer in front there. Leo Carlson, and he can't get a clean shot off. Back to Sebastian Ajo. His shot, glove saved through traffic by Riddich. And I was that's I'm surprised that even made it through traffic there off that Aho rip. Now the fourth line back out there for Hartford up against Deneau, Lars Ellers, and Lazat. Evans wins that one. McMichael in front. He's poked away by Riddich. Just couldn't get the shot off. McMichael had a opportune chance there. As Lazat now takes it the other way for LA. Deneau behind the net. Back to the point for Spence over to Gavrikov. Now Lazat. Battled there by Cody Cece. Lazat still with it. Lars Ellers. Loose puck retrieved by McMichael, who gives to Nolan Patrick, taking it the other way. Nolan Patrick now in the corner behind the net for Evans. Loose puck picked up by Patrick in front for McMichael. His shot. Barely blocker saved there by Riddich. Picked up by Gavrikov, who gives to Spence. Spence over to Lazat. Just 30 seconds left in this first period. Denoa shot. Blocked in traffic. Now Lazat behind the net. In front for Spence. Deflected a rebound. Scores. Gavrikov. My goodness. What an atrocious first period. The Kings get one here with four seconds left. Absolutely brutal showing by Hartford in this first period. Rebound just goes right on the stick. And Tarasov, he's got to get out of there. Maybe send him back down to the AHL. So now... Six seconds left. I said four. There's six seconds left. And let's see if Hartford can get one back here. And they will absolutely not. Picked off there to neutral zone. 
And that's going to do it here, folks. My goodness, what a brutal showing. Down 4 nothing after the first period. And it's not looking pretty. So the Kings net four goals on eight shots. And we had five shots, so they almost scored more goals than we recorded shots. So let's just kind of, let's focus on cutting the deficit in half here in the second. Let's get two goals and cut it in half going into the third. Zadina, nice interception there in the neutral zone. We have him on the top line here after his impressive play to start the season. Playing alongside Patty Kane and Mark Scheifele as Drew Doughty takes it in for the Kings. Pass behind the net for Fiala. Kempe back to Fiala. Ripper there from Kaliev, and it's saved by Wedgwood, who has relieved Tarasov. We wanted to give Wedgwood the night off because we're going to be heavily relying on him for the next month and a half or so with the injury to Markstrom. But Tarasov just not playing good hockey at all. Now Shifley loses that draw. Mike Anderson to Drew Doughty. His shot saved Wedgwood. Being tested here early. A nice chance there from Drew Doughty working his way in close to the net. Kempe wins that back. Poked out of the zone by Patrick Kane. Drew Doughty peels up into the zone. He has some space working from the corner. In front there for Kaliev. That shot wider. It might have been hit by the glove of Wedgwood. Now Patrick Kane taking it the other way for Hartford. Closed off there. It's going to be picked up by Kempe. He gives there to Fiala. Now Drew Doughty with it. Doughty skating up ice. Working there against Tyson Berry. Back to Kempe. A shot there in the slot blocked off by Barry, and that would have been a good chance for Kempe. Now Tom Wilson takes it the other way for Hartford, entering the zone. Poked away there, picked up by Arvidsson. His shot deflects in off Tom Wilson, and Hartford scores. We needed something like that. A nice deflection goal, and I don't think any of them meant to do that, as Tom Wilson just falls right down after that goal. Was that off his knee? Nice deflection goal. How did he fall, though? <laughs> is, he just, is that the Bobby Orr dive? Is that what he was going for right there? So at least we won't get shut out in this one. As Harper gets on the board, we now trail 4-1 to one as our second line remains out there. LA wins that draw. Dumped in. And that's Cody Cece who will pick it up for the Whalers. He gives over to Scott Lawton. Lawton skating it up. Gives up to Victor Arvidsson. Now Tom Wilson with it. He gets his way in front. Nice backhand chance save. Lawton now with it. Back to the point for Ajo. Save. That was a nice, uh, two nice chances there from Hartford. Nice setups. Good saves by Riddich as Byfield takes it the other way. And front now save by Wedgwood. Loose puck picked up by Scott Lawton. Passes across the ice to Cody Cece who gives up to Victor Arvidsson. Arvidsson back with it working his way. Loses the possession. Now in front for Lawton. Back to Arvidsson at the point for Cody Cece. His shot and a glove saved by Riddich in traffic with Tom Wilson screening in front. The second line for Hartford with Lawton, Wilson, and Victor Arvidsson getting some good chances here. And now we'll have Leo Carlson out there with JT Confer and Andrew Mangiapane. And LA just owning the faceoff circle, it seems, in this one. Spence to Lazat. Lazat peels back. He gives to Deneau, back to Gavrikov. Now Lars Eller with some space. He's hit there by JT Confer. But he does manage to get some space, but he does dump it up the boards. Retrieves it hit by Cody Cece there. Lazat now to Deneau. Deneau back to the point for Spence. Off the boards to Lazat. Deneau with it back in front. He loses possession, picked up by Mangiapane. Sebastian Ajo skates it up for Hartford. Ajo with it in the corner. Works his way in front of the net. His shot pad saved by Riddich. Lazat gives to Lars Eller. Eller hit there by Mangiapane, picked up by Lazat. Gives back to Gavrikov. In front for Deneau, poked away by Wedgwood into the corner. Sebastian Ajo gives up to Nolan Patrick. Patrick works his way in. Patrick a chance in front, blocked by his own man. Now Anderson Dolan will take it up the other way for the Kings, dumps it in. Picked up by Dmitry Orlov. Nice spin move there to get away from the defender. McMichael working his way in, overtaken there by Gavrikov. Now Anderson Dolan, a nice pass there to Fajimo. And good recovery by Dmitry Orlov. As Barry will take it up, gives to Evans. Evans has a chance, works his way into the corner. Now Patrick in front, save, rebound. And McMichael couldn't corral the rebound to get a chance as Fajimo takes it the other way. Spins back, gives to Spence. Now a nice feed there to Anderson Dolan. 
Good hit by Dmitry Orlov. Anderson Dolan recovers the loose puck. Kaliyev now with it. Pass behind the net. Still going along the boards. Now Grizz like a shot. Glove save Wedgwood as he robs the former Hartford Whaler. And Matt Grizzlick, if you watched our episode one, we're now what is episode 25. If you watched episode one, you would have saw Matt Grizzlick was our first ever selection in that expansion draft. As Shifley went to draw, it seems like we haven't won to draw in eternity. Sammy Maki now gives to Philip Zadina. He's closed off there along the boards. Does recover though behind the net. Zadina in front for Shifley. And he couldn't get a clean shot off. Blocked in traffic. Grizzlick now with it. He'll give to Kempe. Kempe gives back to Brent Clark a rip, and that's blocked. Good block there by Sean Walker. Now Sean Walker gives over to Philip Zadina working his way in. Zadina is centering pass for Shifley, picked off by Kempe, who peels back and goes the other way, gives to Kaliev. A dump in there, and it will be retrieved by Sean Walker. Walker passes up to Shifley, and Shifley closed off there against Fiala, who gives to Kaliev. Now Kempe has some space working towards the net. Recovers. Shot blocked. Sammy Maki will pick it up. And he passes up to Tom Wilson. Now Scott Lawton with it. Lawton works his way in. Tom Wilson is shot. Pad save Riddich. And he'll cover that one up. So an active period here for Hartford. Although we've only been able to get one on the board. We still trail 4-1 to one here in this second period. Scott Lawton on the draw against Pierre-Luc Dubois. And that goes to Dubois. And at the bottom there, it said Sammy Maki has three block shots in this one. you like to see that from our number one pick. As Keyhorn interception goes the other way on a break. Back to Dubois, a rip. And a good save there by Scott Wedgwood. That was a rip there at point blank distance from Pierre-Luc Dubois. And these second lines will stay out there. Alex Keyhorn. Signs with the Kings over the offseason. He's on his fourth team in three years. I believe last year he started with Ottawa after signing with them, then was traded. I forget who he was traded to, but now Victor Arvidsson working his way in and a pass there for CC doesn't go. So Keyhorn was, he signed with Ottawa last year and then was traded, and now he signs with LA. And then, of course, he was with Tampa Bay before that. Scott Lawton picks up a misguided pass. He clears up the boards. Picked up there by Tom Wilson. Now loose puck again. To Scott Lawton. Arvidsson with it. He gives to Ajo in the slot. That's blocked away by Quentin Byfield. Ajo fighting Byfield for it. And Byfield wins that loose puck. Now behind his own net. Drew Doughty with it. And they do get it out of the zone. Mikey Anderson with it. He gives to Dubois. Dubois sandwiched there by Cody Cece and Victor Arvidsson. As Arvidsson picks it up and takes it the other way. He has some space here. And Drew Doughty picks that one up in the slot. Now Dubois with it. Loose puck trickles out to Gavrikov. Gavrikov to Dubois. Just 35 seconds left in this period. Grunstrom with it. His shot just wide. As Mangiapane will peel the other way. He gives to Comfer. Comfer to Leo Carlson. Comfer with some space here. Five seconds left in the period. Carlson behind the net. And what are we doing here? And we're not going to get a shot off. I don't know why we're past it behind the net when there's three seconds on the clock. But with that, we do net one off a of Tom Wilson misdirect or redirect. But we still trail four to one here as we head into the third period. So certainly not looking pretty here. I wanted to get two last period. We only get one. So we head to the third period down four to one. And we need to rewrite a three goal deficit here as Patrick Kane will enter the zone as he's hit hard and loses possession. Picked up by Drew Doughty, who gives to Kempe. Kempe clears it in. That goes along the boards. Now Tyson Berry picks it up for Hartford. There's Mark Shifley. We haven't really heard much from him to, in this game. Intercepted there by Fiala, who gives to Drew Doughty. And now Mikey Anderson gives back to Doughty. He'll skate it up for the Kings. In front there for Kempe, his shot blocked into the corner. Or Orlov out in front. And Wedgwood, it will play that. I was hoping he would play that to Barry. Now Zadina with it. And he's overtaken there by Kevin Fiala. Fiala back to Mike Anderson in front for Kaliev. Kempe a rebound and he scores. I thought Kaliev was just going to pass it across to Kempe. But he didn't really need to as uh, Kempe finishes on the rebound there. 
And Wedge, like, where, I don't know where our defense is. I don't really know what's going on there. And a brutal rebound. I mean, no one's really saving that one. And the Kings just continue to pour it on here in Hartford. So now 17-23 left in this game, and I wish it was football, and we could just knee it from here on out. I don't think we're coming back in this one. Arvidsson will take it in. His shot. Rebound in front for Tom Wilson. Another save by Riddich. Overtaken there by Lawton. His shot blocked in traffic. Arvidsson knocked down. Kempfe takes it back the other way for L.A. Now loose puck against the boards. Picked up by Mikey Anderson. Held up against the boards by Tyson Berry. Now Anderson's still with it as he shielded off Arvidsson well. Dowdy creates some room there in the neutral zone. Gives to Keorn. Overtaken by Dmitry Orlov. Orlov a feed pass. Goes astray. And that's going to go for an icing. Wow. We would have had a nice chance there in transition. But the Orlov pass off target. And now a defensive zone draw. For this tired second line. For the Hartford Whalers. Face off won by the Kings. As it's been most of this game. Just... Not many positives from this game as Quinton Byfield a chance in front and he buries that one on Scott Wedgwood. LA goes up six to one. My goodness. Good thing I'm not a quitter and we're just gonna, you know, we gotta ride it out. Byfield an easy chance there against the blocker of Scott Wedgwood. It looks like Wedgwood wasn't even giving an attempt on that one. This team just totally deflated now. Last episode, it started off so promising, winning 7 out of 10. And now we're set to drop our sixth game in a row. CC back to Confer. A feed pass there for Manji Yapani goes wide. I mean, granted, we are without our starting goaltender, which has been a huge loss, but still, we shouldn't, as Cody CC shot goes wide there, we shouldn't be losing to a LA team who's not even really in the playoff picture there in the West. By this much at home ice nonetheless. The Kings dump it in there. Picked up by Cody Cece. He'll get up to Leo Carlson. And Carlson just passes it to Wedgwood and we'll get a freeze. Like what what I don't I don't really know what's going on here. Like we as uh we saw in the last episode, it was really kind of focused the title was kind of focused on Carlson. Like what do we do to get him going? We've moved him all around, and then you just saw him before just, like, passed it right to Wedgwood. Like, what was that? As a nice rip there from the Kings, gloved by Wedgwood. Now 6-1 to one with uh, 12 and change left, and we're just hoping this one runs down. And LA wins another draw. Like, what is going on with the draws in this game? Lazat a pad saved by Wedgwood. Mangiapane goes over to Cody Cece. And now Confer will take it up. Confer takes it in for Hartford. Stops. <laughs> Centering pass there across crease. Intercepted by the Kings. Like He stopped there, waited for like four seconds, and then finally decided to do something with it. Cody Cece passes right to Gavrikov. Now Lars Eller with it. Evans a turnover. He can't get a pass across for Nolan Patrick. Now a nice feed there to Lazat. Pass across for Eller. Blocker saved in the corner by Wedgwood. And LA only with 20 shots on goal in this game. With six goals. That's unreal. Evans to McMichael. His shot blocked in front. Patrick with it now. As we're halfway through this third period. Spence will take it the other way. He dumps it in. Picked up there by Sean Walker. Big feed there to Nolan Patrick. Patrick will take it in. His shot. Nice wrist shot there. Blocker saved by Riddich. Now Sammy Maki with it. He feeds over to Sean Walker. Up to Patrick Kane. Kane dances his way in. He's closed off there now. Zadina with it. In front for Kane. His shot blocked into the corner. Evans a shot in front. Glove saved by Riddich. And Riddich has played well. I mean we haven't gotten too many chances. But Riddich has basically stopped all of them. Just the one goal allowed in this game. Now we have Shifley out there against Kempe on the draw. Shifley wins that back. Zadina now. Shifley in the slot loses possession. Fiala will take it the other way. He peels back still in the own zone. As Drew Dowdy will take it out. 
hit there by Scheifele against the board. Still with possession. Kaliev there to Kempi. Back to Fiala. Pad save by Wedgwood. Now Drew Doughty working his way towards the net. Picked up there by Scheifele. Now Ma Sammy Maki, a loose puck into the corner. Sean Walker's able to get it to someone. Patrick Kane gives back to Scheifele. And Scheifele's hit there. We can't even get a zone entry. Dowdy gives to Anderson. Anderson with a lot of space as Patrick Kane takes it and gives to Victor Arvidsson, who dumps it in. Dumped it along the boards. Picked up by Mikey Anderson for the Kings. Fiala with it. And Fiala work his way in. Closed off there by Sammy Maki. Victor Arvidsson up to Scott Law. And now Sammy Maki taking it in for Hartford. He's poked away by Brent Clark. Now Byfield with it. Less than five minutes in this game. Thank the heavens above. Byfield with it. Loose puck. Tyson Berry. And he'll turn that one over. I I don't know if I've seen them, if I've seen our Hartford Whalers play this bad. I really don't. Keorn now with it in front for Dubois. A good save there by Wedger to close off the angle. And that puck will go all the way back into LA zone. Dubois with it. And I apologize if uh, for my lack of enthusiasm in this one. It's tough. Dubois, chance in front, stopped. Wedgwood, he gives back to Barry. And now Tom Wilson with it. He'll give a cross to uh, Scott Lawton. Now Orlov with it. He gives to Lawton. We do get a zone entry. Although, let's see if we get a shot on goal. Tom Wilson with it. Works his way in front, and he can't even really get a shot off. Matt Grizzlick, he gives to Dubois. Alex Keorn loses possession there in a neutral zone as Tyson Berry will take it in. Or he will not. He loses possession to Deneau. Deneau a shot pad saved by Wedgwood. Picked up by Dimitri Orlov. He gives it to Leo Carlson. Carlson dances his way in. <laughs> Swing and a miss. He does not get the shot off. Lars Eller now with it for the Kings. 15 seconds here. Pass behind the net to Deneau. Lazat a chance in front, save Wedgwood. And I was hoping we'd make it to the final buzzer here, but we'll have one more face off at least. And still no penalties in this game. I'm shocked. I don't think we've had a game this whole series without a penalty. I was going to say something earlier, but didn't want to jinx it as finally we win a face off. And it only took until 12 seconds left in the game. Manji Yapani takes it the other way. He gives to Carlson. Let's see if we get a shot off, and we can't. As Carlson's feed's intercepted by Spence. As Lazat just clears it down ice. And L.A. here will defeat the Hartford Whalers 6-1 to one in a tough loss by Hartford. And you got to go back to the locker room and figure some things out. Because this was not a pretty display by really anyone on this team in this game. I don't. No one really stood out to me. No one got the job done. No one came in here and played hard. And it was just a brutal showing. Obviously the loss of Markstrom is hurting. And our goaltending just isn't getting it done as Hartford drops this game on home ice 6-1 to one in brutal fashion. So that was obviously a super deflating loss. You know, you really can't, you know, you get shut out against the Rangers and then you lose 6-1. So we really need some redemption here against Pittsburgh, who really is our closest opponent right now in the Metro. Um, we're going to be battling them, it seems like, for... A potential playoff spot. I mean, we also have the Canadians and Red Wings we have to worry about. So these games, especially in our Metro division, super important. As we come in here with an identical record to Pittsburgh. We've seen that first period in six goals there in that first period. We go up 4-2 to two with a pair of goals from Tom Wilson and a pair of goals from Patty Kane. As Latang got one late there on Scott Wedgwood with 15 seconds left. So Pittsburgh gets one there by Rust as we're up four to three, and we'll sim this third we'll play out. Let this third period play out in the sim as Majiapani extends the lead, makes it five three. Now five four, Rust gets another one soon after. And now less than ten minutes left. Pittsburgh on a power play, they kill it off, and Hartford desperate to snap this six game losing streak as they give up one to Raquel there, and it's going to be a five five game right now. Less than two minutes. And we will go to overtime, so let's see if we can finally win an overtime game. Pittsburgh with 43 shots, 45 now. 
They ended with 46 after overtime. We'll send the shootout. And we win the shootout. Oh, my goodness. I don't think we've won a post-regulation game all season. And we do win this one in a shootout, snapping finally a six-game losing streak. And that seemed like it's been forever since we won a hockey game. So we're finally able to snap that losing streak. And we'll just sim two more games here to end this episode as we'll end at an even 41, which will mark the halfway point of this season. So now we jump in, hosting Chicago, who has fallen off here in year two after a surprise playoff appearance last year in the first season of Connor Bedard. So we do fall 1-0 as we give up a goal with three seconds left. We've just been amazing at giving up goals in the final seconds and periods. And now we give up two more there. Boyd, another goal. And LeBanc gets one as well. And then we score two, but we still lose here. We fall 3-2 to a pretty bad Chicago team. Nolan Patrick and JT Comfort each net one. And then we'll just sim ahead here to Toronto. And I don't think we've beat Toronto yet in this series. So we'll just sim this one. And they might throw Terrace off in here as we still have their auto-rotate goalies on. And then Wedgwood, Wedgwood's still out there. Shifley gets one. And then Austin Matthews scores one not even a minute later to tie it up. We take a 2-1 to one lead with a goal from Cody Cece. And now we'll let this third period play out and see if we can hold on here in Toronto. And we do get another one there from Scott Lawton. So we extend our lead up 3-1 to one as we do not score on a power play opportunity. Now less than 10 minutes left in the game. Still going less than five now. Still up three to one. And we get an empty netter there from Dmitry Orlov. And Hartford, a surprising win here on the road against Toronto. As we win two to end this series. We win two out of three in sim games to end this episode, rather. So some nice redemption there. We get back in the win column. And um, we sit at 21-15-5 and five here at the halfway point of the season. At this point, we're just one point out of a playoff spot. And that, the team we're behind right now is Toronto. But still in the Metro, we're even with uh, Pittsburgh and Carolina with 47 points. Columbus holding that for, uh, one of the wild card spots with 49 points. And the Maple Leafs holding the other one with 48 points. So next episode, we'll start with a game against the Islanders. And since we had a live, a full game here, I think next episode, we'll just focus on simming. And we'll probably finish... The month of January and maybe some of February as we just delve into the season and head towards the trade deadline. So at this point, we're on pace for 42 wins, which would be an eight win improvement from last season. And once we get Markstrom back, I think uh, things will start to turn around. And I think I'm going to take a look at some trades to try and upgrade this team. Um, so we actually our owner made us a conservative seller this year. So he doesn't really expect us to make the playoffs, although, you know, it would be nice, obviously, if we could. And um, we're definitely going to try and make some moves. And I don't want to say go all in this year, but we're definitely going to try and make a run as I think we're set up for it. So to close this episode, I just want to show you some progress reports and we'll take a look at some prospects. I guess we'll start here in the NHL. Patrick Kane has a lot. Yeah, he's uh, starting to decline. Although he has a lot of statistical growth, but natural growth, he's starting to decline a little bit. But um, So I don't know if he's even going to be on the team next year. Mark Scheifele, he has some statistical growth as well. Um, nothing too major. Although he's getting two for discipline. Now Connor McMichael, he's getting one, one growth here for uh, all puck skills and statistical growth too. And he only has four points in 21 games. So I'm not really sure how that's working. And then Scott Lawton with a bunch of uh, statistical growth. Two points for defensive awareness. Two for wrist shot power, slap shot power. And two for offensive awareness. JT Confer regressing a little bit. Not too, not too much. Jake Evans. A bunch there for morale growth. Two points on every puck skill category. Some statistical growth decline. But it looks like morale growth is really making up for it. And Nolan Patrick, let's see how he's doing. Two points there to every puck skill category for statistical growth. And that's all we have so far on, or on Patrick Orlov. I'm sure he's declining just a little bit there for uh, 
puck skills, not too much. He started declining a little bit towards the end of last season. Now, Carlson only 15 points here at the halfway point. Just not a good uh, good season so far, although he is getting morale growth, statistical growth for whatever reason, morale growth, stat growth, natural growth. So he is improving still, still maturing at now an 81 overall. He has improved one so far over the course of this season. And now Markstrom, he is declining a little bit, which we would expect at age 34. And um, we're hoping he can come back soon and kind of turn this team around. And Zadina's getting one for offensive awareness, defensive awareness, and that's about it. Mainly, I wanted to show you some prospects. And you see here, Frederick Leonard. He's only a 58 overall. He was our second round pick last year, I believe. But look at these uh, growth stats. Nine for all puck skills. 10 there in discipline, 5 offensive awareness, 4-5, four, 4-5 five, four, five there in the shooting categories, 5-0-6-6 six, six in defense, and then 1 there across the board for skating, and then 6-6-6-4-6 six, 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 six for physical. So Frederick Leonard, he's one of the best prospects we have right now, elite potential, and um, he's a right wing playmaker at 6-1-195, only a 58 overall, so still far ways away from making this team, but... uh you love to see that. And I think trade value-wise, he's among our highest rated players. And Scott Ratzlaff has a few categories he's going up in. And nothing really too crazy yet for our prospects. Not much progression down there. But I definitely wanted to share with you Frederick Leonard. As he's uh, one of the best players in our organization. Not overall-wise, but just potential-wise. And I think that's where I'm going to leave you, folks. I'm just going to kind of scroll down the draft class as we end this episode. So um, not a good showing here as we dropped a game against the Los Angeles Kings on home ice, six to one. Although we were able to rebound with an overtime or shootout win against Pittsburgh and then a nice victory there at Toronto. So next episode, we'll kind of sim through the rest of the month of December, or I'm sorry, January, and work our way towards the trade deadline. So as always, everybody, I really appreciate you watching. It means a lot. I'm so uh, grateful for your viewership. You know, leave a comment. Let me know what you're what you're thinking about this team. It's not looking too pretty right now, but compared to last year, we're definitely improving. So, as always, everybody, it's been real and be well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.